Hello, welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. Now, this is going to be a Taurus weekly money and career reading from September 16 to the 22nd, 2024. Taurus, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. Taurus weekly money and career, September 16 to the 22nd, 2024. Thank you for being here. I hope you are well. Be on the lookout on the here out for the magic word. If you're interested in putting your name in the hat for a free reading, all you have to do is put the magic word down below in the comment section and be subscribed. The magic word will be at the end of the reading. I will pull one name and announce it at the end of the month of September. So grab your best headphones or earbuds and um, let's get started. I'm going to pull one oracle card to see what the root of the matter is or what we need to know here for this reading what is hidden the hidden matter often these oracle cards give a real glimpse of things that we probably wouldn't usually see and let's ooh, lots of cards okay there's a lot of cards I'm going to do this again just to make sure I have the right ones. Okay, sorry about that. Sorry, Taurus. I just want to, there's four cards. It's a lot of cards. Let's see if there's one that can come out. Okay. Well, there we go. There's the dog. And then I need, okay. All right. Thank you. There we go. All right. So the dog, loyalty, sense of sacrifice, right? Family environment, friends, a really a sense of belonging, sincerity. Um, okay. In the family. And then here we have the mouse, which is, oh, manipulation, dissimulation, right? Um, lack of trust or taken, being taken advantage of okay all right well let's see what this is all about taurus maybe you're feeling you're take being manipulated or you're manipulating someone else all right let's see let's see what this is all about but it feels like a sense of you have a sense of sacrifice and loyalty to someone or to something all right let's see where this is going Okay. Drive, willpower, determination, a movement. For, you want you want to push forward no matter what. You want this to happen. You're ready. You have the power. You have the drive to make this happen or to move forward on an action, to move forward on something. You want this to move forward. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Okay, so what is it that you want to make happen or what is it that you're ready to power forward on with the chariot? Okay, done with a situation, a person, done with being stabbed in the back. Let's see where this is going. The moon just pull these cards make pull these cards up sorry about that there we go all right so there's something you're not seeing or something that will be revealed or you're waiting for answers on lies or or that sense of something is missing, something is not clear, you want the truth or you want the answers or you want to clear things up or you're, you're indecisive on something or you're confused on something or there is confusion on something. Okay, and here's the truth coming out with the Queen of Swords. Clear the discussions, harsh discussions, having to say the truth, this is the way it is. You want to take back your intellectual power, take back your power, here let, all right let's continue there you are money we'll 
we'll get back to that. King of Pentacles, comfortable financially. Something's coming in with this Three of Wands. Oh, money's coming in. Okay, money is coming in Taurus. Money you've manifested or you have an offer here or you have this Page of Pentacles here with this is all regarding money. Page of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and King of Pentacles. This is all you. But for me, this Page of Pentacles is regarding money. Um, it's about the new way of seeing this or new way of focusing on something, uh, new ambitions, new ways, new goals, planning something. You're very consistent. You're very grounded. You, you, you're you studious on this. This is something you really want to make happen. And you're dependable. Like you, people depend on you or you depend on others to make this happen or to bring this money in or, or you've really worked hard at something and you have this ability to accomplish this, but you might need help something like that you're dedicated you're fiercely dedicated to something and you're very loyal and you're very loyal in i can i can see this so you're very loyal in love or you're very loyal to your family or they're loyal to you and here it's about creating new goals and planning something new and this is a new work opportunity or you've studied really hard and 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 it's something you will be rewarded to for something and so these are finances coming in or something's coming in right that you've worked really hard on and it is coming in with this three of wands these ships are coming in, whatever you're waiting for or whatever this goal is. But it feels like there's someone there that didn't have your back or doesn't have your back or there's no communication there or you really have to clarify something because there's something fishy. They didn't tell you. They didn't something. You feel stabbed in the back. And so... With this three of wands, this money coming in or this offer of finances, or it's not opportunity. It's pure finances, I feel, with these three. This with the three of wands is really the opportunity to move outside of your current situation outside of your current career or outside of your current comfort zone right to take on more responsibility or to take on something more than your current job or right this is something this is the power to push forward onto something else more expanding maybe you're traveling maybe you're expanding your business maybe you want to expand your business or maybe you want to travel for business or maybe you want to take your career somewhere else or, you know, expand in some way. And it's really something, it feels like this is the opportunity to take it outside or expand outside of your current company, job, environment, whatever it is. You're finding solutions and, and you're the one financially stable. You're the one that has the money okay all right so but there are there are discussions okay so let's pull some cards to see what this discussion is all about what needs to be cleared up because you do have the moon so you are indecisive in certain ways maybe regarding certain people because you feel you were manipulated or you people uh, people abused a situation here or dissimulated didn't tell you hid something you hit something or they hit something and this is coming out in the open and you feel you feel backstabbed okay but you have the the chariot so no matter what you're pushing through. So what I'm going to do is before I get into this, because I feel like this Ten of Swords, the Moon, and this um, Queen of Swords, which is really hashing it out and taking out back your power and 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 figuring out exactly what's going on, um, is the same as this. So 
let's pull some cards on the dog and the mouse the environment the family environment that sense of sacrifice but also that sense of loyalty you feel you've had towards your family towards your friends towards the situation whatever this is and why you feel that you were manipulated or maybe they feel you manipulated them let's see all right so what is this mouse here why is there a fear of manipulation or manipulation or dissimulation of manipulation, right? They're hiding something or you feel someone's hiding something or someone didn't tell you the truth or someone didn't give you all the information. Nope. Okay. One more card. Why is the mouse here? Why is there manipulation here? Want to clarify the mouse? Why is there manipulation here? Okay. Oh, well, I guess that was the right one because I had the the Knight of uh, Cups moving forward, action forward emotionally. Now, okay, got it. So we have the Knight of Cups. It's back in the deck, but and the King of Cups. I thought it was the wrong card. Okay, so now we have the King of Cups. So you, it might be with a water sign that you feel betrayed, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or you feel, let's pull another card, or you feel that no matter what, you're going to stand your ground, yep, remain calm, stable, you're, you're going to anchor yourself and make, and, and defend yourself, you're on the defense though, or they're on the defense, they're on the defense, okay, Maybe because you're asking him. Yeah. And they're moving forward. Moving on. And they're moving on. Emotionally moving on. Right? Doesn't mean that automatically someone's moving, uh, leaving. It can be that. But it's really about leaving emotions behind. Making the choice of defending yourself or they're defending themselves. And really leaving certain emotions behind. Being able to move on from a certain circumstance and a certain feeling of being betrayed, let down, lied to, whatever it is, and they're moving forward or you're moving forward. One more card because I feel like, okay, so I feel like here you are, one, two, three, having these truthful conversations, taking back your power, your intellectual power, your truth, right? Speaking your truth. And here it's all about emotions. So it's either with a water sign or it's uniquely about emotions where you are hashing this out with a family member, with a partner, or with someone you have felt manipulated or manipulative. One more card on this. Um, yeah, it's 10 of wands. So it's the end of a chapter, the end of pressure, a lot on your shoulders, a lot going on. And the... High Priestess, so something is coming out, something is being revealed. Here's the truth, here's the harsh truth, right, with the, um, with the High Priestess. But the High Priestess is also you understanding, right, to follow your intuition, to understand that um, this is a moment where you're understanding what happened, uh, like a state of conscious awareness. You're aware now of what's going on. You're getting the answer. You're getting the message. You, you're understanding the truth or they're telling you the truth or you're receiving the truth or you're telling the truth because it. I feel like it goes both ways. I don't feel like this is something that's just one way. Maybe that's just me, but you're all about money. You're all about receiving the money and being able to move forward or to get out there and expand your business or work on other projects or go travel and go do other things, discover other people. You have the money. Yet here, it's really also about being aware and seeing beyond the day-to-day -day life, seeing beyond what you think is reality or what you think has betrayed you or why you feel you feel manipulated right 
this about, you know, don't try to do all things. Allow certain knowledge to flow. Allow certain messages and information to flow at its own pace. So you can sort of grasp that. And, you know, instead of keeping in a certain energy of frustration where, well, I should be getting this or this should be happening or this is the way, uh, these are the facts, right? This is the way it's supposed to be. They're all about facts and answers and no. It, and it's here, it's all about emotions. And it's almost like, is there a Gemini involved? Anyway, I don't know if there's a Gemini, but it doesn't matter. Um, the high priestess is there to show that it's time to take a moment to be still and to really tune into your intuition because the answer is going to come from within, from you, from your intuition. You're waiting for facts. You're waiting for answers, for discussions, and to tell people what is right, what is wrong, how this should be, and how you have to repair the facts. But this feels like it's completely emotional. So it's about connecting with your intuition and your higher self. And trust that your intuition right now will be providing you with useful information on how to fix these issues, right? It's about embracing your connection to compassion, to empathy, and to inner wisdom. And it's really about feeling rather than thinking, collaboration, fixing, uh, asking something, someone for solutions or paying someone to repair something or getting a specialist to figure it out for you and paying something. I'm feeling money, money solves it all. I don't think here, right? This is about creating rather than destroying and really trusting your energy and being proud of your ability to nurture trust to sense and empathize instead of hiding it away or finding other solutions to fix it because it's a fact. No, it's emotions. Emotions are not fixable, right? It's not a car. And so this is the ability to understand that this is all you, the subconscious, feel rather than think, right? Feel. I know. No, we don't always want to feel and we don't always want to be there. And frankly, most of the time we don't want to be in those emotions, right? We'd rather just go find someone that can find the answer and move on or find someone that could fix it and move on or get the facts, discuss the facts and moving on. But emotions are not facts. Emotions are all about water and uh, empathy and um uh, feeling and uh, there there's no fix for that besides being there listening understanding that there are two sides and that's really what I see here it's like you and money and waiting for your project to come in and move on and develop and be there and then over on the other side it's like but there are discussions to have there's something we didn't talk about here there's confusion there's deception there's feeling manipulated. So we have to talk about this. But you have the drive and you're like, okay, we got to talk about it, but I'll fix it. You know, well, well, we don't have to talk about it now. I don't agree with you. I'm right or I need the power and I need to move forward. I don't have time for this. So I'm just going to move forward. And it doesn't mean it's you, Taurus, right? It's either both or both entities are like that or it's just not the timing something like that all right so here we go let's see yeah it's about family harmony um and i think it's more than one person here it's not pinpointing you or anyone it's it's a it's really about an emotional situation within a family and um uh the discussions are not easy but it's also about feeling what the other feels 
and reciproc reciprocity, right? Uh, both or everyone, because it doesn't have to be just two people since it's regarding family and harmony and emotions. Too many cards, okay. Or so, all right, so let me just see what we have here. Let's see what this, all right, let's pull on the moon, but I feel like the moon has been this. Let's pull on the, on the chariot. Why is the chariot here? Why are you pushing forward? You've got the drive. You've got the success. You make it happen. You make the money. But all right, why is the chariot here? Let's see if we can get, yeah. Ooh. Sorry, there's just one card. The rest is me being clumsy. Yeah, it's about family. The past, kids, family, friends, something, right? The nostalgia of the past, and it's, and, and you, either you want to go, you don't want to, you, you want to get out of that. You want to get out of that. But look, it's all about family, all about emotion. Six of cups, ten of cups, right? The king of cups, and we had the knight of cups that I didn't take, right? And, and the eight of cups, and the... And the High Priestess that is the, the ultimate emotional card, intuitive card of revealing something that has to be said or that has to be put out of the open or that has to be seen um, or, or felt, right? Trust. Trust your ability to um, feel. Even if it's not easy, yeah. You're, you're disappointed in the offer. You're disappointed in what the other person has to say. It's not enough. It's not enough. Or you feel you don't have enough. You don't have enough love or you don't have enough um, conversations or you don't have enough money or they don't have enough money or you, right? You're disappointed in that. And there we go. Letting go. Letting go. It's, and, and money and family, family, Happiness, balance, money, not enough, change. Decision, don't trust. <laughs> yeah, and there's a justice. So justice can be justice coming in and say, okay, well, you can't make the decision or these conversations are leading nowhere or this discussion is not working. We are not able to find a conclusion or collaborate or uh you know because everybody feels like there's a fix to something but it's about emotions and emotions and money money and emotions so justice comes in to bring back stability in an energy between two people between entities can be more than two people can be family can be career can be a company right and 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 it's very emotional maybe it's a family business maybe it's a business you've had with friends or maybe this is something very creative that you've done but there's a sense of past and there's sense of family and there's sense of that harmony between emotions and money and um here's the justice here to make a decision for you or you're making a decision or the universe is just pushing this forward because you don't trust the person or yourself and then you have wow <laughs> wow okay so either the, you reach a conclusion and you're letting go with the um with the death card and i feel like it's not the first time um, understanding that this situation, as many times that you have discussed this with your partner, with your family, in, in your job, and whatever this is, right? Um, you now know that if you don't let go with the death card, right? If you don't let go the resentment, uh, the issues, uh, the triggers, uh, the sense of manipulation, right, that we have. Remember, we have the manipulation and the family importance of family and loyalty um and um 
sense of yeah being loyal that you've always been there for your family you've always done everything for your family and then you feel manipulated something like that um and but it's also again goes both ways there has to be a discussion and it's not even about who's right who's wrong because this is going to be different for everyone and everyone has their own emotions regarding all kinds of things right whether it's job money family love although i i really feel like this is between two people or at least within a family um and the the death card is about letting go all about letting go understanding that it's time to let go to just leave it there because there's no real solution and that's when the justice comes in about fairness about truth the cause and effect it can be law right doesn't have to be but it's the cause and effect and the wear and tear of the situation back and forth back and forth and so everybody's going to be a sort of accounted for their actions and be judged accordingly and aligning with your that your higher self, right? For the greater good of all of you, everyone in this um, in this situation and bringing back stability. And so if if you did something you regret or they did something they regret or all in all, you know, this will be treated fairly. It's not about bias, right? It's it's about being ready to take responsibility for actions, to be accountable, and, and just needing to make an important choice with sort of long-term repercussion, right? That's the way it is. So it's about choosing consciously by connecting with that intuition that I was talking about before, right? Asking the answer, asking for the answer that most aligns with your highest good right with you what you feel is right what you feel is the truth or just or balanced and standing by your decision and accepting the consequences right and if you can't it's about digging deeper and that's when the death card comes it's about really digging deeper into shadows right into your shadow self of of what this is all about what is right what is wrong who is right who is wrong until you find the place where you can stand in integrity and strength justice is about the search for truth so as you search for truth as you explore your truth you're going to discover that things are not as clear. Things might not be as clear as you had thought they were. So this is about exploring what truth means to you. And be aware or consciously aware of what you believe to be true and what you believe to be fair and ethical. So it's about challenging yourself to explore new territories and a new belief system and letting go with the death card, letting go these ways or this judgment or truth or vision that you have and to move into another energy. It's a very, very interesting reading, to say the least. And it's not about right or wrong. It's about what you feel is your truth compared to the vision of the world. Wow. Very profound reading, Taurus. So let me know if you connect with this. Let me know what this is all about. Let me know how you are exploring these energies that might be a little tricky, sticky along the way. But sometimes it's just about introspection and feeling rather than just wanting to repair with money or judgment or feeling that you're right. And again, this is not about you. It's about a, a circumstance, an energy, 
with you involved, but there's there it feels like there's a lot of people involved here. All right. Wow. Interesting. Maybe there's a family business here. Maybe it's your business. Maybe you're the main breadwinner and, and uh, enough is enough or something like that. All right. Let's see if there's one last message of, for the road. Taurus. Um, profound reading, Taurus. Profound reading. Your truth is your truth. All right. Am I taking all these? Okay. I'm going to take these and then... Okay. So again, what this is the third time we have the um the chariot wow you're so determined so there might be a cancer involved because this is pure pure determination to move forward to move past to gaining you know you're ready you're ready you've got the drive this is going to happen moving forward but see you still have the contradiction here feeling stuck wanting to move forward um, having the drive, knowing you can do it, knowing you have the strength, the power, the money, yet you feel stuck. Yeah, and again, the Six of Cups, you feel stuck in the past, you feel stuck in the family environment, you feel stuck in these emotions. Wow. Okay, and temperance, temper, temper. I feel like if you bulldoze your way through, Taurus, no matter what, if you bulldoze your way through, it's not going to work. If you... Um, as we di you dive into this emotional um, path to understand what you're made of and what you want and how you feel and how you can navigate this and move forward and process it, right? It's about taking the time step by step. And look at this. It's like stagnating, rushing forward in the past taking your time so it's back and forth then back and forth but understanding that if you bulldoze your way through it's not going to work and here's that person whatever this is whether it's a job someone you work with whether it's your partner whether it's a family member here is that person you have that soul connection with and here you are again king of pentacles comfortable financially comfortable um with and you have this person uh, and here's the other person so it can be a father figure it can be an aries it can be someone um someone you are discussing discussing this with someone with whom you have this emotional um path you have to move forward on this emotional clarity you're looking for, these answers, you feeling betrayed, feeling manipulated, but why? I feel like that. How do they feel, right? Let's try to figure this out. And there we have the Ace of Wands. So there's really a back and forth, back and forth. It feels like this has been going on for a while. It feels like it's a dynamic that you have to almost like destructure and restructure because there's a soulmate connection there. There's a love connection there, but there's a sense of one overpowering the other or one being manipulated by the other. And maybe both of you, and I, maybe it's not just the two of you, maybe it's the two of you and family or the two of you and work or the two of you and coworkers or whatever it is, right? It, it can be anything. It's going to be different for everyone, but it feels like it's back and forth and back and forth. And no matter what, you have this sort of tie together where you're understanding that um, you want to, un well, you want to understand, not your understanding. You want to understand. You want to listen. You want to, you want to try to process this and dig deep and figure this out yet you you're you might be tired of this or you feel stuck and then you want it to go fast now but it can't go fast it has to be step by step no matter what it is no matter what the decision uh justice is whether it's your decision or their decision or both your decision or the universe but it really feels like the universe is just pushing and tugging and 
pulling and tugging on this situation to find a solution. But you're still there together. It's almost like a karmic relationship. And it can be a business partner. It can be a family person, right? Uh, a sibling. It can be a friend. It can be a lover. It can't, right? It can be all of the above. But it is regarding money and emotions and it's it's almost like the duality of money and emotions can you buy emotions can you buy everything or does love win it all or is that completely bs right something like that wow very philosophical i mean a, tour, a beautiful reading absolutely beautiful reading taurus i enjoy this reading i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did it's really digging deep um let me know. Let me know what this is all about. Let me know if you connected with this reading. I want to say that um, this, um, the magic word here is, hmm, intuition, 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 intuition. Um, so if you're interested in putting your name in the hat for a free reading, um, put the word intuition down below in the comment section and be subscribed. Don't forget to be subscribed as, you know, apparently subscriptions are a little magical here with the algorithm. Let's just put it that way. So just double check you are subscribed or if you've just popped in. Thank you for popping in and thank you for subscribing. Uh, again, thank you to each and every one for um, checking in to this channel, for watching these readings. Gratitude, gratitude to each and every one for sharing your energies and your journeys. Uh, also, if you're interested in helping this channel and supporting this channel, you can do so by clicking the join button right next to the Card Minds logo. That'll take you wherever you wish to go. And it will also give you access to a free question during lives, lives that we do every Sunday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. Hope to see you there. Have a great week, Taurus. Take care. Bye-bye.